Hello, and welcome to the joy in pens and paper. This is Erin, and today I had a snow day. So I figured I would do a little bit of recording and do some planning and take you along with me. So I'm using my Laban Rosa in Lilac with an extra fine nib and I'm wrapping up my documentation from Sunday evening in my daily planner. Sunday evening, as we all know, was Super Bowl Sunday, and my husband and I went to our friend's house and watched the first half of the game before heading home to get my son to bed and get ready for the work week. And then we get into Monday. So my first thing that I do to set up is I write the pen and the ink that I am using. And one thing that I wanted to mention kind of quickly is at Super Bowl Sunday, one of the guests was a fountain pen enthusiast. I had seen a letter that he wrote to my friends as a thank you for a night out at dinner that um, he and his wife had with our mutual friends. And I immediately knew what kind of ink it was. So when I saw him at Super Bowl at our mutual friend's house, of course I immediately approached him and said, hey, were you into fountain pens? And we then spent the entire second quarter um, nerding out on pens and inks, and I showed him the pens that I had been uh, bring, that I had brought with me, and he shared with me some Discord groups that he's part of. Uh, and so I am considering joining Discord. That would be a new venture for me. Um, so if you're listening mutual friend, you know who you are. Uh, I hope you can hear the joy in my voice that we had that opportunity to share our joy and I look forward to many more of those opportunities. So getting into Monday, I woke up tired. So I just really didn't have a workout in me first thing in the morning. So I did some budgeting. I got into the shower, did some journaling from the day before and some planning. And then I went to work. It was a half day professional development day for teachers and a, uh, uh, yep. And a half day for students. So midday I had to drive my son home and then return to work for a training. Um, which was on the new IEP that will be going into effect next fall. Um, I just generally wasn't feeling wonderful. So as the training went on, I just was ready to go home. <laughs> um, so I don't know that I could say I was super invested in that particular training, but um, my son was definitely very happy to have a half day from school. Um, and so after work got out, I pretty quickly went right home and had some downtime before wrapping up a report that was due. Um, I kind of struggled with the recommendations for this particular report, so I hemmed and hawed a little bit, but finally wrapped up my thinking and submitted it and then, um, did a treadmill run and spent some time with my son before going to bed. Now, as you saw in the opening, we had a snowstorm, so I thought it would be appropriate to have a special breakfast for my son. And so I made some gluten-free uh, pancakes, really waffles with a special waffle maker that does pumpkin and snowflake shaped waffles. And um, then I watched a documentary with my husband. I think it was called Lover, Stalker, Killer. I believe that's what it was called. Um, and then I did this filming. Um, and later on in the evening is when I'm doing my editing of that filming. 
Now I then moved over to my memory keeper, which is where I do all my pops of color and basically captured the same thing. Um, for this one, I am using a Lamy 2000, which is inked up with Birmingham Pen Company, Pennsylvania Fieldstone, and a Platinum 3776, which is inked up with Sailor 50 States, Indiana, huge pop of pink. Um, I thought that this would be a really nice combination as it's playing out. I'm not quite sure if I love these two pinks together with one being a muted blush and one just being a very poppy pink, but um, it is what it is. And uh, as I go through this, I will be pulling in some of my stickers from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, to capture just a few highlights from each day. Now you see me put my pen down because uh, while I'm planning, I have my iPad open and I have one of my former colleagues that is uh, was sending me messages. They're trying to negotiate a job offer and so I was giving them some kind of tips and tricks for how to word things and um, you know, kind of a, if any of you are in the market to change jobs, especially as a female, um, it is uncomfortable to negotiate salary. And so one of the pieces of advice that I gave this uh, friend and former colleague is whatever you you want to get, request five to 7% higher than that. And that way when the, the employer comes back and counter offers, they're gonna feel like they one in the negotiation just as much as you're going to feel like you won. So um, my fingers are crossed. Please send positive vibes that she uh, gets this position because it's so far up her alley and I think she's going to do an excellent job at it. Um, so I continue going and, and a lot of what I'm documenting here is very similar slash exactly the same as what I've already put. Um, I just put a little bit more specificity in my personal memory keeper. So for example, in my work planner, when I say I got home and relaxed, it was really that I crashed because um, my lady body was not feeling <laughs> feeling it. I'll keep, leave it at that. Um, I then tried to pause and go off to the side because I was trying to see if I could access my health stats from my iPad. Uh, health application, but it doesn't give the specific stats that I get from my um, activity app on my phone and I'm using my phone for filming. So I kind of hit a, a snag there. And then I'm also going through my box of stickers. You can start to see the little bit of mess that is created around my planner as I'm trying to find just the right stickers to capture the day. I also was looking at the headers that you're seeing to the left here, which were get gifted by a viewer, Tina, and I was thinking it might be nice to cut out some of those little emoji heads um, and just get the expression to capture a moment, but this particular expressions that are on there didn't match the moments that I was hoping to capture. So um, I captured a frenzy of Monday morning because I went around to multiple buildings Monday morning to try to cram as much into that half day as possible. And then I also did a emoji for uh, the treadmill and then an overall emoji for cramps. Um, so I'm putting those aside to organize them before uh, moving on to Tuesday. Now Tuesday I did a lot of um, unusual activities for a work day because it was a snow day. So I paused while trying to think of um, whether I had any stickers that would capture the day and um, kind of ultimately wasn't able to really get what I wanted. Um, and I'm also not wanting to order more stickers <laughs> until I use up more of what I have. Um, but I did want to capture that I had a very calm morning. I was the first one up in my household. I was the only one awake for almost two hours. And during that time, I thoroughly enjoyed 
a cup of coffee. Um, so I wanted to grab a, an emoji that matches that. And what I realize is I'm so used to adding stickers on the back end that um, I don't necessarily think to uh, space them out, um, you know, and, and be as artistic as others. So you do see me lifting up an, a, an emoji there so that I can try <laughs> to, to look like I know what I'm doing. But um, I added in a little mo hashtag mom life uh, sticker from Coffee Monsters Co. because I just thought it was a really nice memory for my son to make pancakes in the morning on a snow day. Um, I've only had one other snow day with him um, in his entire life. <laughs> so uh, this was, for me, it was really special. Um, so again, you see me cleaning up those stickers. And then I thought with it being a snow day, it would be the perfect day to get caught up on some pen pal letters. So I pulled out some of the papers that I received from Tina, one of my viewers, and one had trees on the background, which is a little bit of a Christmas theme, and the other had some rabbits. So I pulled out the one with rabbits and used this, um, writing guide or pencil board from Galen Leather Co. that comes with the everyday notebook um, and grab some paper clips just to hold the paper down so I could continue to see the grid uh, and I got ready to write some letters so you may have a letter coming your way. Thank you. 